up guys so today you know with a direct fired green heck um, it's not heating to make up air for our boiler room um, basically I got to it uh, no alarm on the flame safeguard but reading across my high limit we're open So, we got 130 volts coming in, and nothing going out. It's tripped it twice. This is a fairly new setup, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on yet. But, um, like I said, I fired off, it fires off great. Uh, we're just getting too high of temperature. So I'm gonna assume with the age of this thing, because it hasn't run too damn much, that we got a wiring issue somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna dig into the book and see what I can figure out, and I'll bring you guys back and let's see what we can find. So just a little overview and operation before we go into testing here. Um, these aren't like your typical gas valves. They want you to set by um, temperature drop and just uh, maximum inches water column outlet's going to be five uh, five inches water column and a 90 degree temperature rise is what I should have so we're tripping our high limit we're ready and set up here uh, got my outlet gas pressure we've got the gas valve cover off here this is going to be my low pressure adjustment and my high pressure adjustment and we will set it into low and high fire. Um, I'm just gonna read the pressure on the outlet side of the burner there. Um, here's our burner here. So these dampers will modulate. It's like an uh, 80-20 type deal. Uh, one of them will stay open just for combustion air and the other one will modulate with temperature. Here is our temperature controller. Um, this senses the temperature and tells the amplifier whether to lower the fire rate or increase it. Um, on the set point of 100 degrees, it's because there's no remote sensor. After I dug into the wiring, I found the only thing we're controlling is basically it's for our boilers, which run all the time. So we're just giving a signal between R and G to say the blower's running. And this is our uh, pressure switch circuit. So not controlling anything from inside at the control panel. Uh, this says maximum temperature in the book is 140. So high limit set to 140. And our inlet sensor uh, set to 65. So anything above 65 degrees, it's gonna turn the burner off regardless. So we get these panels buttoned up here and then we'll see how she works so here's where we're at guys um, I made a few adjustments I didn't want this video to go forever long with me playing with this thing so if we disconnect terminal number three that's gonna put me into high fire I don't know if you all heard that but I went into high fire um, I had to adjust I've got my outlet pressure about one inch water column. Not all of my readings are really jiving here, but there's our burner in high fire. Doesn't look bad. I wondered if maybe I've got some airflow issues or if there's something else weird going on here. Um, supply temperature in high fire. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but at 118 right now it's it was running up around 125 to 130 the maximum outlet temperature is 140 so with everything connected it's going to try to maintain that 100 degree uh temperature uh low low temperature of 50 maximum temperature of 100 is what it's going to try to modulate to so My temperature is continuing to rise about 120. 
might be able to dial that in a little bit more. One inch water column seems kind of low to me for this, but the setup's a little bit weird. Because this is an upflow. Couple 90s there, restricting some airflow. So that was my high fire. And if I take terminal eight off, that's gonna put me into low fire. So I'm monitoring my flame signal here in low fire and high fire. I've got a good five volt flame signal back in my burner control. So that should be okay there. What's kind of throwing me off here is I'm showing a negative five inches water column on my low fire. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Might have been why maybe they did adjust this when they started it up and increased that low fire as high as they could go. So I've got a good flame signal. The burner good looks good in low fire. And then there's my low fire flame. So that looks okay to me see my temperature dropping so I've got an amber on my motor my amps are good uh, I could use some adjustment if I need to increase the airflow but I think at this point I've got a differential on my burner of like 0.5 which is what the book says it should be um, and I'm running so for now I'm not tripping my high limit anymore I'm gonna call this one good, and we're gonna get with Green Heck and see what they say. We're gonna have to do a little bit more investigating, see if we can come up with uh, some of my readings that just don't seem right. But for now, she's gonna work, so smash the like button, guys. Subscribe if y'all wanna see more, and we'll see y'all on the next one. So I'm back, just to give y'all an update. I uh, spoke with Green Heck, tech support, they were on the ball with answering the phone. I didn't wait for two hours like typical. Um, I basically said everything that I thought was happening is happening. Um, the supply duct has just got a lot of turbulence right there, right out of the unit. Um, you're supposed to have double the duct diameter length coming out so we don't create that turbulence in the air. Um, and said all my gas pressure adjustments were gonna be perfect they don't go by gas pressure like I said before they're going by temperature rise so my temperature rise was good after I adjusted everything and they go by the look of the burner so we had a nice blue flame uh, so everything looks good I just want to let y'all know uh, it's the little things man sometimes you check everything out and just doesn't quite look right 90% of what we do is airflow um, lastly, uh, pressure drop across my burner. Uh, the book said 0.5. He says they recommend 0.65 to 0.8. Um, we're good there. We're right in that 0.65 range. If I need to adjust the speed on the pulleys, we can. But anyways, this one's good to go. Greased my bearings. Belts are good and tight. So we're going to let her go at this point. We'll see y'all next time.